the majority of people do not know what their values are, do not know what their goals are, are not sure what their purpose is. Yes. In fact, in the book, there's a tool to do just that. Let's start with values first. Is there a tool or a simple resource or something that you would point people to to help them sort out what they value? Yes. In fact, in the book, there's a tool to do just that. And we look at it in four circles. So what are your biological values? You know, what do you value about your body? What are your psychological values? What do you value about your mind? What are your social values and your spiritual values? And there's, I think, 36 different values. And so I want you to think about the people in your life you admire the most and then see which of those values fit that you can adopt. Uh, one of my favorite is, you know, it's public knowledge that I've been Miley Cyrus's doctor for a long time. And she has struggled with anxiety. She actually talks about it, but her value is showing up. Her, her value is following through. So even if she gets anxious and feels like not going on, she always goes, goes on. Um, and some people may have seen how hard this last week was for her. Her plane got hit by lightning. And then one of her friends, the drummer for Foo Fighters, yeah. uh, died from a drug overdose. And it was a disaster for her. But yet she showed up because that's one of her values. Yeah. Awesome. Because I think that kind of trying to figure that out for yourself, it's not something that goes like that. You got to do a little digging. And so I'm thrilled that You Happier has some resources for people to help you start to really think about it because it's important. And what about purpose? How do you help people start to think about what their purpose is? So I have a wonderful exercise in the book and it's based on like five simple questions. Like, who are you? What's your name? So Daniel, what do you love to do? Uh, I love looking at brains. I love changing people's lives and love that. Um, who do you do it for? I do it for myself, right? I want to have a better brain. And I do it for my family and I do it for our patients and our community. And what do these people want or need from you? And well, they want to suffer less. Mm. And ultimately, my purpose is to help people suffer less. And in the process, it's, uh, it helps me feel connected, feel validated. And I do the right thing because if you're not authentic, you suck as a messenger. So um, well, I love so that. I have Let people me just go recap through this. Those are super simple. Who are you? So what's your name? What do you love to do? Who do you do it for? Why do these folks come to you? And what was the final question? What do those people want or need from you? So that's four. What are those? And five is how do they change as a result mm. of what you do? Like Laura Cleary and I, she's a comedian. We did this on Facebook. And ultimately her purpose in life was to give people a little dose of happiness every day. <laughs> and I, I mean, it's like so simple. It but really you feel so purposeful. And, and purposeful even if you're people not are happy, happier. and even if you're not happy in your life, you still know what you love to do. You can look back to times in your life where maybe you felt happier or more fulfilled or more connected or more energized, and you can remember the things that you love to do, correct? And is that how somebody who's not happy right now is reminded that the answers are there? Well, and often they're focused on themselves rather than focused outward on how mm. they can be helpful. Mm. Because when we get too wrapped up in ourselves, we become more vulnerable to depression. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. I love that you're here. Make sure you subscribe. And if you love this video, you're going to absolutely love this one that's coming next.